Howdy everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm not really sure what I'm calling this video. Maybe it's wake up or get your head out of your ass or stop being surprised by stuff that happens around you. Uh, but just in the last couple of weeks, there've been three incidents um, fairly significant uh, from friends or family that um, I kind of want to talk about. Two of those major car accidents uh, where uh, my daughter dances, one of them was a fatality. And then a good friend of mine who actually lives in a very well off area uh, in Houston, uh, I believe his um, uh, a family member of his that lived in on in this neighborhood basically got robbed um, or uh, had, had a home invasion in the middle of the day. And it, it was an elderly individual. Um, but guys, what I'm telling y'all, and we're not, we're not talking about the bystander uh, or the bystander effect, right? Where Kitty Genovese, you know, in the 60s, she's getting killed on the streets. They had like 30-something people walk by and nobody did anything. I'm not talking about intervening on somebody's behalf. You've got the ability to do that in Texas, especially when it comes to self-defense. We're not talking about that though. What I mainly want to focus on is number one, it seems like the majority of the population is so surprised when something bad happens. It's like they feel like nothing bad can happen to them, whether it's a car accident, whether it's getting, um, you know, a, a, a violence, uh, aggravated assault. They believe that, uh, yeah, they, they might know that violence exists, but they think that they are immune to, um, uh, immune to almost anything going bad. And, um, it's almost, it, it's pretty sad to watch people's reactions when that happens, um, because it catches them off guard and they really have no response to it. So that's kind of what I want to encourage y'all to do, uh, and, and tell your friends, your family or whatnot, that you're trying to reach out to and get them to see the light. Um, bad things happen to people and you've got to be able to deal with them. You can't rely on somebody else to come to your aid in the event of those two car accidents. Like I said, one was fatal. Um, it's in a suburban area of Houston. It literally took 40 minutes for EMS to get there. And now guys, I'm not telling you that, you know, you need to be a, a, a medical doctor, but in, a, in the event of something like that happening, like a, uh, a car wreck or a major accident, you know, heck, right back here in my, my car, I've got my med kit. I've got a tourniquet sitting right here. Um, I've got another med kit in the back. Guys, you got to be able to respond to that stuff. You got to be able to stabilize people on site and hold them um, and, and make sure that they are okay until EMS arrives. But um, it just seemed like everybody was just freaking out and really nobody did anything. Um, and so once again, it just seems like people are completely amazed when bad stuff happens. They're not prepared for it. They don't have a plan of action to do anything uh, when that does happen, or maybe they just think that it won't happen to them. But stop fooling yourself, guys. Um, we're in some really weird times right now. Police uh, are underfunded. They are understaffed. They are overworked. They are uh, very, uh, they aren't as skilled as you think they are. Our emergency services are stretched thin. Uh, so when you really want that, that emergency first responder uh, to be there, guys, it might be a long time before they show up. So uh, you need to be prepared for that. You need to be able to hold your own until help arrives and stop being so surprised when something bad does go down, you got to be able to respond to it, whatever that is, whether that's an accident, an injury, whether you got to fight for your life, you got to have the skills to deal with whatever comes at you. And it just amazes me that the general population is just completely amazed when something does bad, uh, when something does uh, go wrong, they always expect somebody else to come to their aid. And guys, it's going to get to the point to where we're not going to even have that luxury. So you need to be at every... You, you, and I always tell my students this, and I think I heard it from Jay Gibson. Uh, you are going to be at every single one of your emergencies. So whatever skills you want that person coming to your aid to have, whether if it's fighting skills, you know, the ability to pull somebody out of a car, uh, medical skills, shooting skills, whatever skills you want that person to have, you need to have those because you will be at every single one of your emergency. So, uh, yeah, guys, kind of a wake up call. Stop relying on other people. Take care of yourself. Be self-reliant. Be self-responsible uh, uh, for all of your situations and circumstances because 
the time might come where you need to use those skills. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be safe, be smart, be skilled. Catch you on the next one.